Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flex, and this is going to be a real short video. I'm just going to show you a little trick. Um, you can't do this on every image, but um, there's quite a few that you can. That when you get an image and you can't get a really high resolution, um, what I found works really well. Now, if I zoom in real close, I think I'll move it over here to the gray. Uh, let me see, which one can you notice a little bit better? That See this Hello Kitty? She's kind of blurry. Um, I'm, I hope you can tell on the video that she's blurry around here. There's a bleed from the black into the white and to the pink and everything. So here's what I'm going to do. I will zoom in after I've done this. I'm going to take and I am going to do a trace of my image. I'm going to remove my high pass filter and I'm going to leave it exactly where it is and I'm going to hit the trace up here. I, I did the trace, not the trace outer edge or anything. I traced the whole thing. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to go up to object and release compound path. Then what I want to do, whoops, I didn't want to remove that piece. I'm going to get rid of all the pieces I don't want. And I think that's pretty much it. Then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take my color palette and I'm going to start coloring them. And this piece I don't want either. This one I do. And let's see here. We're going to go white. We're going to go black. We're going to do black on here. And then the little little tiny circle inside, which I should have done first, because now I'm having a hard time. I'm going to use my eyedropper so I get the same yellow. There we go. I'm going to pick black on this eye. And then I'm going to take, again, my eyedropper and get the same pink. And the same pink. The same pink. And I'm not going to repeat the same pink because I think you got the message. Anyway, and then we're going to make this white. Then I'm going to take the whole thing and I'm going to group it. I want it all as one. This I'm going to delete. I don't need it. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it right on top of that image. And I'm going to group them all together. Now, I didn't do do it on the 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 lifesaver here and this piece I threw away. I didn't do that, which I could have, but I just uh, I just tried to simplify it here for you. Now look when I zoom in. Let me ungroup it and adjust a little tiny whoops, a little tiny bit. I didn't have it quite lined up right. There we go. Now if I group it. And then I hit cut outer edge. There we have it. And that resolution will print out perfect. See as I zoom out. Um, and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go back here to show you next to one of these images paste it right here and I'm going to set it right next to it and then I'm going to zoom in again to show you the difference. You have to just be careful not to move any of your pieces so that when you put it right back on top, Hello Kitty is a super easy one to do it. Look at the further I zoom in how you can see because even though if you zoom out real far you can't see this, um, how blurry this really is. However, when you print it, this blurriness, this bleed of the, the black into the white and into the pink is very obvious when you print it. Um, you can see side by side here what a difference it made. Um, and that's all I did to get that resolution. Again, this has got a little bleed over here on this pink. You can break it down as far as you want. Um, I just, again, wanted to keep it pretty simple and quick because I know sometimes lately my videos have been getting a little bit too long and I do apologize for that. Um, I am having some issues with uh, uh, my 
iMovie updates, or not updates, upgrades that they did to iMovie, and it's uh, smarter than me. So I've had some issues, and I do apologize ahead of time. I will not be discouraged. I will keep continue on and and practicing to to fix those problems that I've had on the last couple videos. Anyway, um, I hope that you have enjoyed this, and this will help you to figure out how to get better printouts on some of your not quite perfect resolution on images. Thank you and have a wonderful night.